This is Camp Kennedy. and it's cold and it's not any fun and we're about to have a really pretty substantial cold snap it's going to get down into the 30s which is insane here in Florida so what I'm going to do is put away the elongated and mountain tortoise now most of the time I'll leave these guys out if it's in the 40s overnight uh, they're such a hardy animal uh, they like high humidity which is what we've got here but um, currently uh, I am not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go on a little um, tortoise hunt. We're going to find some of them. We're going to just keep stuffing them in the uh, in that enclosure because it's got some gentle heating. As you can see, they're already kind of bedding down into these um, into the leaves. Now this is a really cool species of tortoise. We've never really done a, a species profile on them. Uh, they're brown and elongated, uh, but they'll also call them the yellow-headed turtle. Uh, or tortoise rather, because they have these pretty uh, yellow heads. Uh, the males can be really aggressive during uh, breeding season, and what will happen is they'll ram each other and it gets quite, quite intense. There's a lot going on here. So what I'm doing now is we're gonna grab them all up, and here's a male, it's got a concrete plaster on, and they've got this larger tail, and they've got a, a keratinous horn at the end of their tail. So that's pretty interesting too. So here we go. We're pulling in these animals and I'm gonna walk them over here. These guys are found in Southeast Asia and they have a large, they kind of have a, a wide range, but what's cool about them is because they have such a wide range, they're quite adaptable to different weather conditions. And look at this, look at this. We're gonna pull this out because this is gonna be my insulation here. See this, there's a big old mountain tortoise in there as well. These guys cohabitate with the mountain tortoises because they do that in the wild. Here's a female, little tail, flat plaster on. And it's just basically, they're gonna be in here for a couple of days because it is not going to be any, uh, it's not gonna be pleasant is basically what I'm trying to spit out. Right, right Kate? That's right. That's right, she's all buttoned up herself. Uh, the temps right now are low 60s, but tomorrow night we're gonna get into 30s and that's just no bueno if you're a mountain tortoise so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick these guys up like like a six pack of la croix and um i'm gonna go ahead and get them all stuffed in i've got a lot of them though i've got quite a few this might turn out to be a little bit of a long uh video uh, and this is for this is somewhat of a species profile easy guys and I know some of you are like, oh my God, you're abusing the tortoises. I'm not, they're just getting things done. Um, helping them out. I'm being gentle when I put them in, but I gotta pick them up and move as fast as, fast as I can. So as long as you do that, these guys don't mind. They're only upside down for a second. So don't freak out out there in the internet world. I'm not abusing my little tortoise. Uh, oh yeah, oh boy, we gotta, I'm gonna get muddy here too. So this is just something that has to be done. The entire camp is uh, on lockdown on account of the weather. But if you look down here, come on down here. I know you don't want to get dirty, but maybe my subscribers do. You can see the tortoises that are underneath here and who I have to pull out. So these guys, there's a mountain tortoise too. You want to see a mountain tortoise? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Going to get a mountain tortoise. Oh God, these are so cool. And they, much like the the other guys, the elongated, can take cool attempts. But look at how pretty. Isn't that pretty tortoise? I like this. Hear that? It sounds like Darth Vader breathing, but it's not. It's just a mountain tortoise. You know, it's kind of, I'm going to call you Vader. That's this animal's name, Vader, because it's black and uh, it has this sound. All I need for it to say now is that it's my father and everything will be complete. Awesome. All right, we're moving, moving along. Uh, and these guys are gonna be, this is not the prettiest of my enclosures, like of my tortoise sheds. It looks like something moved this. What's going on? There's some bamboo up in here. We don't want that. Let's uh, open this up a little bit and see what's going on. Let's see who's in there right now. Oh yeah, we got some, we gotta flip them. Not a lot of guys in the house right now. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this up. And you can see I've got some Zoomed heaters and it just takes the edge off of the uh, cool. You don't wanna bake them. You just wanna keep them from getting below 55 degrees. Uh, believe me, you can actually do a lot of damage um, you know, if you overheat the box these animals are in, that's worse than them getting cold. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to leave that open so I can place these guys in easier. This is my high-tech cinder block containment. Well, let's get going and get some more. So that's what's happening. I mean, you know, guys, if you live up north, these are a great species of uh, tortoise. Because as you can see, here's full size, right? So here's full size. <clears throat> they can stay out a little bit longer than other tortoises from the tropics. Um, they are so personable, they're interesting. I love them so very much, easy to care for. They will sometimes eat um, protein. So every once in a while, they're gonna grab a little uh, earthworm or they'll eat carrion, which is dead animals. Happens from time to time. So you can do that with these guys. And when they're wet, you can see there is some variation of their shells. And some of them I'm gonna pull out, you're gonna see are very blonde or very light. And those are the ones that I get those light colored babies from, which are real beautiful. But now I gotta get back on under. Stay here, hat. We're going. Oh, oh, it's wet. It's wet and it's icky. But this, if you love tortoises like I do, this is what one must do to keep them all happy and healthy. Oh, and I got to dig around in here. Let's hope I don't find, oh, look at that. Here's another one. Hope I don't find a coral snake resting. Oh, that would stink. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Hey, look, I got another mountain tortoise that burrowed down in here. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Life is good it's a great angle this is a good it? angle for you hon you like this angle? oh yeah is it flattering <laughs> <laughs> i was at the gym today working on my buttocks actually that's gonna be friday today was arms oh boy okay hey at least my girlfriend thinks i have a nice derriere mm -hmm. okay see i'm dirty but um these animals are gonna be happy so let's get them in let's start with this big old mountain tortoise how cool is that huh I love them, and they all, they, they all make that noise. They're all like Vader-esque, like they're breathing through regulators. Oh, now these guys don't like to be dry. They love high humidity, and that's what we're doing for them with nature. It's raining. Show sure is raining. Oh, and the other cool thing about doing this though, guys, which is kind of neat, is I get to look at all the animals and you get hands on them, you get to feel their weight, you get to see if there's any injuries on them. And what we've got is a real healthy and happy population of these elongateds. Let's, uh, let's cruise over here, because this is a little bit labor intensive, a little bit longer than normal video, but I want you guys to just see what it entails. You know it's cold if I'm out here getting these guys in. Um, usually I get to relax with them, but uh, not the case this afternoon. Dirty. Okay, let's keep, going. let's keep going. You want to know what it's like to be a, a turd hurdler? Or is that turd herder? Does that make sense? I'm not quite sure. This one uh, was wild caught. These guys are can be found in Vietnam. But you see this? There's some damage to the shell here. Mm. Uh, that's old damage. What will happen is animal gets some kind of trauma to the shell. Okay. Um, they start healing from the inside out. The old bone, because that's what that is, that's bone. The old bone just kind of gets pushed out and eventually this pops off and you see this? Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. So he'll always have a scar. But that's nice, hard, uh, regenerated shell underneath. And so, like I said, it's always good to check these animals out and make sure they're doing all right. And they certainly are. So this female must, could have been in some kind of fire or some kind of issue in the wild. Something could have chomped on it. Who knows? But what we do know is that she's very heavy. Oh, I'm gonna stop there. Very heavy and there's another. 
and she's all right now. One thing I am glad I did last couple months after the hurricane is I trimmed all these palmettos. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's odd. This is kind of a funny looking one. <laughs> He's been touched by an angel, but I love them all the same. And you see they're kind of dormant right now because they know it's, it's gonna get cold. So we're just helping them out. This is our fun little video about elongated tortoise. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you'll ask me some questions in the comments below. You know, and I don't want to put him right on that turd. See this big old turd? We're gonna get that turd out of there. Like Bye. Never existed. Bye turd. Bye turd. Hey, no turds in the tortoise head. No turds for the turtles. Um, now, Do you know how many you have? Uh, I haven't had a count. I knew I had 23, but we did have some mortalities, and this is over like seven years. Um, they, out of all the animals I have, the elongateds and mountain tortoises have been the most hardy. Um, when you keep large, a large collection of animals like I do, you're going to get deaths uh, over the course of the years. Uh, the thing is with these animals is the, the death that I got was actually um, one of them was stuck inside a tortoise cave and it, it just couldn't get out and I didn't find it until I started smelling it and I was such a bummer and I never thought a tortoise would get stuck like that but it got stuck in the cave and I couldn't get it, it couldn't get itself out and so I found it in there and I was kind of a bummer when I started to smell it uh, this guy's trying to get out I want to make sure they don't come out I'll do this a little bit um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 we have a few more to get 16 let's see what we get come on Kay come coming this way I don't think there's gonna be much editing in this video but I did find a really cool hiding spot this is one of the first um, structures I built you know water bowls I built and throughout the years Oh God, I have to stick my hand in a dark hole. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, it's kind of scary. See, see they can get stuck sometimes. And that's because sometimes the rain puts this in and if they don't dig out, they in trouble. Oh, please, please don't bite me. Okay, I think that was the only guy in there. Awesome. I said 17. Let's see what else we got. I know we got more. Yep, he was 18. And you see, I threw, you see what I do also, guys? Um, a lot of you live up north, uh, but if you live in areas like South Carolina or Georgia or North Florida or Texas, um, one trick that I use when I don't want to pull them all in is I get mulch and I throw a pile of mulch over the tortoises. And one thing that we know about mulch and grass and decaying vegetation is creates heat and that's why you'll have believe it or not mountain tortoises will pull up piles of leaves and mulch and they'll lay their eggs in them because it creates an incubation and the alligators do the same thing because the chemical process in this decomposing creates heat and it actually keeps these guys warm so what do we say there were 16 17 18 19 here they are 19 so we're about to get a count let's carry these three back in and let's see how many we wind up with. All right. Oh, yeah. And Tom can go ahead and speed this process up if he wants. Okay. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Let me go run right out and grab the last one. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on these guys. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just keeping an eye on them. Oh, I like that. Appreciate it. Well, I found two more. We have 21 total. So here they are. 21 elongated tortoises. 
three mountain tortoises. Oh, and these guys are going to settle on in and they should be nice and happy. Watch this. I'm going to plug these holes up with some mulch and grass. And that is going to keep them warm, at least warm down here in Florida. So we all have no drama. Good luck, little dudes. See you guys. Bye now. Bye bye now. See you later. Let's just get this on. Hold on. I got to move over here, young lady. Do that. Oh, my goodness. Whoever built this thing did not know what he was doing. There we go. That was me. <laughs> all right, everybody. There is me putting away the elongated tortoises. Great species. If you're interested in them, I do have them from time to time. Check for availability. They will run you about $150, $200. And the light ones can be a little bit more. But they're awesome. They stay small. They eat well. Take cooler temps. Not freezing, but cooler. And uh, I love them. All right. See you later. Let me have that. We're off. I'm going to press down.